Hey guys, it's Alice Dammering, and welcome back to my walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda's Coward Sword. In the last part, we are now setting out on our adventure to search for Zelda, and from this guy right here, Instructor Olin, we received a wooden shield here. That is sweet. And we got the Goddess Sword from from the chamber inside the Goddess Statue as well. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to volume here. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so, but before we do go set out into the ground below... What is it, Fee? Alright. Shoot. No! You already explained that! God! This is the first good example of Fee in this game. Goody. We are... We, you, you can see... I have a shield right there! But we might want to buy a potion or two. <sighs> oh, yeah. I guess this could explain when you want to change the interface of the on-screen display. Uh, okay, but we press the gear button like she explained, and then we change the interface over here, right down here, below the wall and the sword and stuff like that. We can ch change to light or pro. But we are going to keep it on standard. I'm not exactly sure what it does, because frankly I never really care. Hey, guess what? You can kill butterflies too, like this. <laughs> See, I killed one. Let's try to kill the other. Yeah! You can also catch bugs too, we'll get to that later. Alright, so let's go to the bazaar. So, let's go. The bazaar, in case you don't know, it's right at the center of Skyloft. Uh, let me pull up our map for a second. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll unlock every other location here and get it on the map as we go along the game. But let's go on the bazaar. And if you can tell by my earlier words, alright, th this is the bazaar. There are lots of stuff here. I will show you around this little cafe area. You don't really do much here. You can just like, well, you can press A to sit down on a stool if you want. Uh, no thanks, sir. I have an adventure to go on. Oh, it's not like that, dude. And yeah, she's just cooking over there. Nothing too special over here. But, alright, here, this is the upgrade shop. And in order to 100% it, we're going to need to upgrade any item we get throughout the game, including our shield. But we do not really have any materials to upgrade it. But yeah, he's explaining right here, this guy. I think his name is Gonzo, something like that. Our shield is fine, but like, upgrade gear, yeah, he can also fix your shield for you. Um, yeah, you can just go to fix shield and then he'll fix it for you. Like, say, there are things to upgrade here, as you can see, all we have is a shield, like, say we want to upgrade a shield. And it, and it says what kind of material, like that monster claw we got in the cave a, a couple parts ago, if you remember that at all. Um, yeah, we got a monster claw, but we also, that shows you what, how many of what material you need over here. And that says what it upgrades to. We're, we might only upgrade the sh wooden shield once, but besides the first area in the game, which we're going to go to, we only need it for one other area. So a a after the first uh, set, huge set act of the game, we won't be using the wooden shield anymore. Oh, this chest. Uh, she'll explain this. Remember those chests. Uh, there's something on the surface that activates them, which I'll get to when we eventually come across them. It won't be for a little while yet, though. Just remember these chests. There are a certain number of them, but we'll get more into them when we when I go over them. Oh, over here. <laughs> the fortune tower guy, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Oh, really? I can never tell. Trust my piercing eyes. Hmm. Alright. Let's go to him. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, because I came in right away. That's why he'll only charge me one. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what he has to say. One rupee, if that's all. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> 
Yep, I'm positive of it. Alright. Let's see what he has to say. He might be giving hints on what we're going to first. Hint, hint! <laughs> and as you can see, sir, we already have one. We're good. Heart potion. That is a potion that we will buy before we go. I think that's the only thing we will be buying, really, here. Uh, as, well, uh, as much as we can right now. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, this is the item check. Remember this girl, she's important for a short side quest later. Well, basically the item check is kind of like your storage area. Yeah, like, it, she takes stuff from our adventure pouch and then she puts it in, you know, the adventure pouch, the thing we got in floods that can hold four things. But like I said, over time I can upgrade it to hold eight things, but we'll get there when we get there. Um... I... She's very depressed, but let's just say we'll have a little side quest there later, yeah? We can move things storage, there are... Five different departments over here of storage areas. Twelve items per department. We'll, we'll probably only use. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, if we want to move our. Yeah, how you do it? You just like press it up and you can move it over here or you can sell it. But let's not do that because we kind of want to keep this wooden shield. So, yeah. Nothing too special to do right now. And it's free also. And yeah, you can sell your items to get rupees in exchange. This guy. Look close at this guy. Any Majora's Mask fans will, will kind of see that he has a resemblance to the Happy Mask salesman a bit. Like, look at that face. Like, I don't know. Yeah, we can, like, buy items from here. Like, he has a wooden shield here. And he has some bombs, arrows, and Deku seeds. But I'll get, explain more into those once we have, once we're able to get those. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, let's see what it has to say about this place. Ah, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he's always creeping me out. Huh. Something special. I guess just to explain how this works for you guys, I'll ask that. Alright. Yeah, so that's basically how it works. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna buy something from here, but let's talk to this woman here quickly. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And my gorgeous, gorgeous Fabio like hair. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. I'm going out on a big adventure. Empty bottle. Remember that. Yep. You kind of need empty bottles to buy potions, by the way. Huh. Yes, you can. And we got an empty bottle. Now, each Zelda game usually has about four, but this there are five empty bottles in the game, and since it's uh, essential to 100%, we are going to collect all five. And uh, bottles are some of my personal favorite Zelda items, because they are very useful. So you might want to get all five. The first two are very are fairly easy to get. Well, one of them was right here. She just gives it to us. So we got our first bottle. We just stored it in our pouch. Yeah. The item check. Yeah, I already explained that. Alright, and yeah, as you can see in our empty pouch, it's right over there. So, yeah. Now, we're, now, let's see the potions. What the, I think a couple of them you're not able to buy yet. Yet. Yes, this is a stamina potion. Yeah, I guess that's useful to your Link's stamina gauge for running. Yeah, I, I, we can't buy this for a while yet. Oh, let's, let's see what this beauty is. Heart potion, yes, a very useful potion. And we are going to buy this quickly. Yes, we are going to buy some. It's, it's, I remember when I last played through the game, I hardly ever bought any potions. I bought a couple near the end, but that's it. 
after the first potion, I didn't buy one from here for a while. But yeah, heart potion. So yep, it replenishes eight hearts, but we only have six, so it will completely refill our, our heart gouge for now. Yeah, and I will show you her husband over there. He's over there, as you can see, with the vat, with the pot. Let's see what these other potions are. Oh, basically, this is an underwater potion that helps you breathe longer underwater. Kind of like the stamina gouge for when he's running. But yeah, that won't be available till later either. Oh, uh, what's this again over here? What's this again? Revitalizing potion. Yeah, this potion basically fixes your shield to be perfect again. Yep, it will restore four hearts also. Sweet. Uh... We only have one bottle, and our potion is probably a bit better, so let's just leave it at that. Oh, this potion. I remember this one. Guardian potion. Yes, it makes you feel invincible for, for a bit of time. That can be useful. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll show you show it once much later in the game. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit on the expensive side. We won't until we have a lot of rupees. Don't worry. I've gotten up to nine thousand rupees though, and that's that. And that's actually how much your biggest wallet can contain. But we have the smallest wallet, so that's all the potions. We have a heart potion over there now. Let's talk to this guy, and then we're out of here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. He basically looked like strengthens strengthens the potions that you can get from the potion lady over there. Well, like let's say we do. Basically, you can like strengthen the potions. Like, say I want to strengthen my heart potion over here. It, you can upgrade it to restore all your hearts, and it requires bugs. That's why bugs are very important. Like that bug, we helped that kid get out of the tree. We helped him, you know, roll into the tree. But we have enough rupees. But yeah, if some for some reason it has a money price and a bug price, I don't know. Why not just have one or the other? Anyway, that's basically bizarre. I showed you off all the things you can do here. So let's go. And we will go back there quite often to, you know, buy some stuff throughout the game. Alright, um, that's about it really before we have to go. Oh, and like Fee said, yes, there's a green column of light in the sky. It is, oh, over there, see that last light? Yeah, that's where it is. That's where we, that's the first segment in the game is. But before we do, yep, we want to talk to this kid quickly. Vito's air shot, that is very important. He, bug nets, yes, he wants one so bad because he lost that beetle. And we will want one too. Yes, we will. That's probably, uh, 100% of the game we want to buy out his shop. We want to buy everything in the shop, and the bug nets the first thing we will buy. And it's 50 rupees if I remember correctly. Yep. You have to launch something at it, so we're going to have to wait till we get a specific item to do it. Uh, Beetle's Air Shop, isn't it like, oh, god, the Wii Motion Plus in this game, yeah, throughout the game you'll probably hear me complain about it often. There's Beetle's Air Shop over there, and, oh, the phone's ringing. Sorry about that, my dad was on the phone. Recently I had another death in my family, my grandfather died, and eh, it's a bit sad, but, you know what, uh, whatever, let's just continue. So yeah, Beetle's Air Shop, it was right up there, yeah, it's going over there. We will get there eventually, but for now, there's nothing much else we can do. So, we are going to die. What is it, Fee? I know, I can see it. Ah. Fee, let's just say that Fee is going to cause us a lot of headaches throughout this walkthrough. So, good luck with that. Yes, I- we can see it! I already showed them that a few minutes ago. Yeah, we already learned that from Zelda. God. Yeah, yep, let's set up here and we'll call our bird. Let's go! I must say, I love the music flying around the sky here, and it looks gorgeous. May I just say that some of the music at, at, in the sky at times reminds me of some music from uh, Disney's Treasure Planet. I don't know, and that is actually, and that is also one of my favorites from the company, by the way. It's 
the most underrated movie from Disney, movie, in my opinion. I love it so much. It could actually probably go down as one of my favorite animated films of all time. Maybe in my top 25. Yeah, we see it! You already told us before! Uh, we... Yeah, they, those things get marked in our map. Just so you know. By the way, remember that puff of smoke? We'll be going in there later. Yeah, it shows the island names. The only one we've been to right now is Skyloft, so that doesn't really help us that much. But yeah, there's the green column of lights. Yeah, that's how, that's basically how it works, passing the columns. And if you, and since the tablets activate them, there will be plenty more throughout the game. Just so you know. Oh, yeah, the sky does look gorgeous. So, let's dive off. Here we go. Let's go find Zelda. So we're... And looks like the fortune tower is right. We are going to a forested area.